Every week, I get to connect with people from all around the world. I get to pray with people, and I get to swap stories. It's one of the favorite things about this job. I get to hear the way that God is working in people's lives. Uh, there's one woman I met about two years ago named Connie from Minneapolis, and, and in, in the last two years, we've exchanged stories, we've prayed together, and recently, there's a story that she shared with me that actually started about two years ago when we first met. About two years ago, I went on vacation to Peru with three friends from Orlando. And uh, we ended up in uh, Lake Titicaca and this little town called Puno. And we were souvenir shopping on our last day. And I got bored with it and I went outside. And suddenly this little parade of school children started going by in their soccer uniforms. And I started yelling, hola, hola, como estas? And they're coming up to the camera and waving and having such a good time. And, and I just got these great shots and this group of little girls went by and I took the picture and then I stopped and I went, did I, did I just see what I thought I saw? And it's this little girl that came right up to the camera, missing her front teeth, she's about eight years old, and her eyes were totally crossed. And I just thought, looking at the picture, I'm like, oh my gosh, how is, can she see? And do the kids make fun of her? For two years, I've been praying about this little girl that I saw in Puno, Peru. And so of course we start talking and before I knew it, I was like my knees on the back of the seat, my computer up on the back of the seat saying, there's this little girl that I saw on a parade and I, and, and her eyes are really crossed and I would really love to help her. And, and I was just wondering, is there any chance you might be able to help me find her? And he said, well, I'm going to Puno tomorrow. I'm like, really? And uh, I, so I gave him, so I emailed him the picture and my address and all that. And I kind of, I didn't forget about it, but I was busy with class. And one week later, he called me and he goes, hi, Connie, it's Jonathan from Southern Explorations. I'm like, yes. And he said, we found her. <laughs> and um, he said, but we're going to meet with her family in like an hour. Are you willing to go through with this? We're not going to open this can of worms if you're not willing to go through with this. And I was like, how much is it going to cost? Uh, um, uh, where's the doctor? How's this going to happen? Can she, is she even capable of having? Yes. Yes, we'll figure it out, we'll figure it out. I just thought this is a miracle that we found this little girl two years later. Her name is Karen Judith Walpatike. She um, apparently had been seen by a doctor two years ago and the parents were told that if she did not have the surgery, she was gonna lose her right eye. And her parents are so poor that they just didn't, they couldn't do anything. They have four children and they just couldn't do anything. Her surgery on Tuesday. Her eyes are perfect. She can see. Her family is her town, her family, everybody is so excited. They've totally embraced this. And her mother's been praying for a miracle for two years, and a miracle has happened. At 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, I'm gonna meet Karen and her mother, and tomorrow is her 10th birthday. It's just such a miracle, and I'm so humbled that God has allowed me to be a part of this and I'm so grateful so so grateful very good day today to finally meet Karen and her mother and um, I just feel so blessed. I want her to know that this is something that happened from God, that He has totally provided this uh, in her life, and that I would be remiss if I went down, just gave her a hug, and didn't tell her who Jesus was and how God loves her so much. Mejor bien alegre. El Dios para mí se ha volteado para mí. Para mí Dios existe. Este es un milagro, un milagro de Dios. Y yo bastante le agradezco a este Señor. Muchas gracias por todo lo que han hecho por mí y que, que les bendiga Diosito.